Last night we told you about an apartment in New Orleans East. The tenant says it is infested with rodents. And according to the city code enforcement, that complex has had several violations over the years. Eleanor DeBone tells us how they're dealing with repeat offenders. I woke up to a possum in my bed, and um, I, hasn't, I haven't been back home since. Ariane Davis lives at Carmel Brook Apartments and has been there for two years. I have camera footage where they're on the camera. they just playing around like they're at the zoo. She shared video from her motion camera. You can see the rats running around. She says after finding a possum in her bed and constantly dealing with rats, she's at her wit's end. Now, how would you feel a possum in your bed, right? A, a rodent in front of your door. Councilman Oliver Thomas is furious. He says tenants should not be paying to live with rodents and mold. What are these uh, apartment complex owners and managers, what are they doing with the money that they get from people? According to the Orleans Parish Tax Assessor website, the company that owns Carmel Brook is based in New York. Councilman Thomas is calling on the state to give the city permission to seize landlord's property if they aren't maintaining it. Come up here to see where you can see the hole. Under no circumstances should there be a hole left anywhere. According to Anthony Davis, Director of Code Enforcement, violations at Carmel Brook date back to 2016. He says one of those violations was rat problems. Fast forward to 2021, there was 11 more violations found, again, um, supposedly abated. Just two days ago, expected a different unit at this, at this location and found them, I believe, with 12 or 13 violations. He says the city is cracking down on repeat offenders. We are starting to maintain a database of all of these apartment complexes and other things that have uh, repeated violations. These repeat offenders, you know, keep winding up on the same list. They'll fix the property, but then just switches to another apartment. He says the city as a whole needs to hold these landlords accountable. We keep hitting them where it hurts most, and that's their checkbook, and we'll keep increasing those fines. Eleanor Tabone. WWL, Louisiana. Over the last few days, we've called Carmel Brook for comment multiple times, but they have not called back.